So today's video is about making chicken curry using milk instead of coconut milk or in Malay it's called santan. So it will be a, a healthier version of curry as I said earlier no coconut milk only normal milk using good day brand milk from a carton. Here is a lemongrass which I'm going to cut into very fine slices so this is the lemongrass from the garden or wherever it is, wherever you are staying in Malaysia. This is a herb that's grown naturally. It can survive in Malaysia's uh, hot climate. So this part here, you have to take it off. Yeah, with a knife. Try to take it off like so. So the, the root that you have just brought from the garden is uh, called Galanga, right? Mm. I'm going to use that. Yeah. And some onions as well. Yeah. So, yeah, just yeah. cut about uh, this much out of this lemon stalk of lemongrass. Yeah, the ends are going to a sweet place that's called heaven. Oh, these ends are smelly, formic acid. It's because of the pineapple, right? Mm. Yeah, okay. okay, let's continue on cutting the lemongrass. I'm helping my mom because I got nothing to do. <laughs> hey, why are you cutting my lemongrass? You are cutting it? Never mind, you can cut this uh, well, because I can uh, film you cutting. Yeah. The intention today is a hot day. And this is how you sharpen a knife using a stone, sharpening stone. What's the sharpening stone made of? Huh? Okay. Oh, it's roughly around like uh, 20 minutes past 5 pm. Mm, let's uh, see the demonstration provided by my mom on how to cut a lemongrass stock. It's very easy. Just use a knife and cut it. The smell is uh, how can I describe to you? It smells like lemon with a pinch of grass. <laughs> Hey, I'm supposed to help you. You want to cut it? Huh? Ah. Don't film it. Cut. Okay. So this is the amount of lemongrass that you need. Uh, it's up to you how much lemongrass you want to put inside your curry. And this is the leftover ones. The leftover ones you can put into the curry stew at the end. It's up to you. These are going to be blended with onions and whatnot, and uh, that's the dried chili, which will be blanched in the hot water, which is going to be boiled here in this pot. So wash the dried chili. The dried chili is from India, right? So while I was uh, chopping the lemongrass into fine pieces, my mom has uh, taken out the 
the skin of the four onion bulbs. Huge onions. I hate cutting onions because it's the vapor makes me dry, burns my eyes. So we're gonna slice and dice the chop the onions or slice and dice the onions into chopped onions. Uh, you can just simply chop it and uh, that's because it's going to go on go into the blender. So my mom is going to demonstrate how to actually cut the or chop the galanga. It's a herb that is uh, abundantly grown in Southeast Asian countries. First get rid of the skin. It has the same consistency as ginger. But it smells a bit different. What we want is the inside part of the root. So the skin, you just uh, get rid of it into the compost bin. So let's see what happens to this little ginger wannabe. Just slice it up just like a ginger because I think it's going to go into the food processor or the blender. You can smell it, it's uh, like a fragrant thing. It smells. What does it smell like? Uh? Ginger. You sure? This ginger smells something different. I mean, different, totally different. It's a. Uh, it can be used as a perfume. Uh, this galanga. Is it? I'm not sure. Does it smell like pleasant? Yes, Is that all they're gonna use? No. Not much. How about this one? This one here. Gonna keep it? I'm going to plant it. Oh, you're going to plant it, eh? Hopefully. Hopefully it will survive. Okay. So, the onions is going to be... Uh, it's going to be like simply chopped into small little pieces. Diced into small little pieces. At this point, I should be helping my mom chop the onions. Do you want me to help you? Of course. Come. Do you like chopping? You say you don't like chopping? I don't like chopping. Some things in life you have to do. Like breathe. What kind of style is this called? I know that the garlic has sulfur, but the onions have sulfur as well, right? This smells like sulfur. It's, uh, it seeps into your fingers even after a couple of hours. Let me help you. Ah, the dry chili is boiling in the water now. Why boil the dry chili uh, to soften it, right? So you, when you put in put in a blender you can like break into a thousand pieces huh? faster faster soften faster soften faster so I finished chopping the onions to my to my detrimental health to the de to the detriment of my health and my eyes which is watering now so let's see you have a bowl of uh, of powder here. What's this? Curry powder. Powder of cinnamon. No idea. So a couple of cloves of garlic will be put into the blender as well. Hey, just not the curry powder. Just curry powder, right? Mm -hmm. Is it Baba's curry powder? No. Where is the curry powder? Inside the fridge. Acacia. Thank you. Aha. Curry ayam and dagging. 
Adabi brand curry powder chicken and chicken and goat looks like goat but I think it means uh, lembu or or beef that's the powder that we're gonna use that one it came from this Adabi Adabi is a brand in Malaysia So the dried chilies have been boiling for three, four minutes now. So do have to prepare. Ow. So next up, we have to chop the chickens into pieces. I'm not gonna film that one because it's uh, gonna be splattering quite a lot. So using a heavy cleaver, you just chop the chicken into smaller pieces. I think in uh, like 30 years time, we won't be eating meat anymore. Most likely the protein that we need will be synthesized in the lab. That's a lot of uh, chicken meat. So the breast, like breast of the chicken. That's the part that I like the best. Just the white meat. But there aren't much of it in the curry. The ones nobody that nobody likes. Nobody likes what the bone, the ones with the bones. Are. You know the weather in uh, Malaysia nowadays is just pretty terrible thanks to the burning of the forest in Indonesia, the peat swamp and uh, the agricultural areas, the farmers just burn whatever they can. They want to clear the forest so they can turn it into an agricultural area, you know, plant a place to plant their food crops. So. Because of the, the smoke, the abundance of smoke coming from Indonesia has been blowing into Malaysia and Singapore and it does polluting the, the atmosphere. I can smell the, the burn, a burning type of, of uh, smell, something like burning wood from the swamp. It has uh, made the air quality bad and uh, visibility is not so good as well. It's not as bad as a few days ago. Today has improved, but it's just terrible. Just don't like it. It makes the, the, the sunshine a bit yellower than usual. More yellow than usual. Terrible times. It happens once or twice a year. It just comes like... I wish they would learn their lesson. Yep, every year, it's always the same thing. Thank you, Indonesia. Okay, peel three potatoes to, to be added into the curry later. And there's one knob of, of belacan here. Wow, it's a very powerful, pungent smell. Smell of shrimp paste. And we're gonna blend something. The color of the blender is because of a spice. What's the spice called again? Kunyit. Turmeric. Kunyit or turmeric. Kunyit is the Malay word for turmeric. Aren't we going to use uh, turmeric? No. Using the powder. What powder? I mean that curry powder. Mm. The galanga and also the lemongrass into the blender. Garlic. 
and garlic is what where? Oh, okay, okay. Simply chop the garlic. Mistaken the garlic for the lemongrass. Oh, the lemongrass was. Oh, these are the softly boiled uh, dried chilies which were boiled and chopped into small pieces. Didn't see you chop the chilies. Oh, not chop. Uh, using scissors, cut into small pieces. Next up will be the onions. Oh, so well, onions. Yeah, how come there's so much uh, onions? It's too much. Uh. Very sweet, no? Sweet? Sweet curry. Oh yeah, caramelization of the onions will make it sweet. So just uh, continue on this process until all the onions are, are used, up. used up or turned into a pulp, a gooey pulp. When are you going to include the lachan? Soon. Tear the blachan into small pieces. So there's one whole block of blachan. So you might buy it and and this in a what in a plastic or paper container. So you have to find an empty bottle to store this pungent smelling ingredient in. Ah, that's the plastic plastic con plastic thing contain containing the plachan. How much is this plachan? Three ringgit and fifty cents, so about less than one US dollar. Thailand has the uh, fish sauce, we have our blachan. Mm. So the preparation is almost finished. Next step will be uh, next step will be involving a pot and also fire. become very watery because of the onions the onions is transformed into vapor so your eyes will become cross-eyed or slit eye or puffy so that's how much the what kind of paste is this called curry paste chili paste, chili paste. And we haven't even used the curry powder. Commercially bought curry powder from uh, Adabi, brand name Adabi curry powder. Problem with using the food processor is the amount of cleaning you have to do. Besides that, the curry paste or the chili paste 
is uh, how you say stain. Not only stains, but also uh, is it is alkali and burns your your fingers, right? Does it burn your fingers? Touch them. Use a tongue. Don't do that. My mom has gone harvesting for some natural herbs, and this is called curry leaf. What do the Indians call it? Karpalek. Karipalek. Karipalek. Karipalem. Appalem. So let's go and harvest some, some whatever huh, on the outside. See, the, there's the chicken that's going to be curry. And a curry stew. And that chicken. That chicken. Oh, yeah. Next up is pandan. Pandan is huge. Normally small, but this one, these are the huge ones. Pandan gigantium. Fish curry. Now the curry powder is uh, being made into a paste just by adding water into it, tap water that is. It's quite easy to do. What's the point of adding the turmeric powder? You can, you can add a bit of curry powder. Huh? Chili powder. Chili powder. It's not hot then you can add in any time. Turmeric and chili powder lah. Mm. It's not the uh, Obligatory, but uh, it's optional. While my mom prepares the pot for the cooking, I will help out by mixing the paste. Curry powder paste and turmeric paste and chili paste. Cooking can be quite fun if you know how what you are doing. If you want me to describe how my mother, what my mother is, my mother is like the Asian equivalent of Jamie Oliver. So those are the. Uh, Potatoes cut into small wedges. The sawi is going to be another dish, and it's not going to be put in in with the curry. It's another dish, so. So the pot is being warmed up. And that's the milk instead of the coconut milk. This is the cow milk. Low fat, uh, low fat cow milk. There are more spices to be added. 
That's the cinnamon stick. That's been that torn be or broken in two. And then some other spices like cloves. Cloves. Looks like the rusted rusted nail. Small rusted nail. And most likely the next will be star anise. Yep. Just start in this. Bunga chinke or in Malay? Chinke is this one. Oh, bunga. Bunga chinke is the rusted nail. Wow, wow. Kayu manis. Kayu manis or cinnamon stick. This one also smells like cinnamon. Eh? Yes. Star in mm, it's different. This one is cinnamon. It's different. What's this? Mm, part of a chinke. So, next uh, ingredient will be oil. oil. Gold, gold liquid. So the spices are washed and now it's put into the oil. You turn on the extractor fan and the light if you want to. Up to you. So it's very simple. Very simple indeed. First off is the curry. Chili paste. Oh. Once you can smell the chili paste, the aroma of the chili paste, then you can put in the what's the next one? Uh, the curry powder paste. So I'm going to help out my mom by distributing the chili paste. Just for a while. I start milk into the Cheating a bit, I put water inside the milk. Oh, the smell is it smells good. And smell the blachan. Next up is the curry cake. Then wash the then wash the bowl. Uh, with water, uh, fill the bowl with water so you can wash it or dilute the remnant or use the milk. Yes, to so dilute the remaining curry paste. Add more oil if it does not look like it has enough oil. What's so bad about that? Don't, 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 don't stick out the oil. Box. Don't block the way, is it? So the paste must be glistening, must be shiny. It's not a statement of the that's a question, no? Must it be shiny and... Oh. No. The oil and the taste plus 
Sauce. Then you know you have enough oil. Chicken. Does it smell good? Yes. Okay. Enough. It's a lot of uh, meat already. There are only three old folks in this house. Actually, you can open up an uh, old folks home. Eh? And death. Oh no. So put in the remaining uh, the remaining curry paste which is diluted with uh, milk water palm milk What? Sorry? Why is coconut milk not as healthy as as cow milk? Yes, uh, More fat. fat. Milk has the the coconut milk has more saturated fat. Looks stable to me. Very simple. The old one was a better one. Next up will be the milk. What was the phrase? Tight waist for no man. Time and tight waist for no man. Time and tight waist for no man. How long are you going to like uh, leave it to the boil? So uh, today I drank a cup of, of uh, fresh milk to like quench my palate or lessen the spice or the chili that I ate for lunch not knowing that my mom wants to use the remaining milk so we have less fresh milk so now we make fresh uh, not fresh milk milk make some artificial fresh milk with uh, what's powdered this milk? milk powdered milk as good as fresh milk I don't drink uh, much fresh milk while I was in Malaysia, only when I was in Britain and maybe New Zealand. So Malaysians prefer their milk to be powdered, right? Because it keeps longer, right? How much milk must you put in? As much as the santan la. It's just a place. Is it okay now? I don't know what the not okay looks like. Well, it's okay. Make sure you get every 
every volume, every drop, every, drop, every liter. Chicken, you are, you are lucky, chicken. You're not in the curry. We're adding the potato. The curry is not boiling yet. Once it's, uh, it starts to boil, uh, how long are you going to leave it to the boil? Five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Boiling. Then the curry will be ready. Well, we wait for the curry to boil for 10 to 15 minutes. I just uh, see my mom prepare the choisum. Japanese choisum. So this uh, choisum is uh, straight from Japan. So that it does not stick. Oops. The pot is moving. The pot is moving. It's not stable. Oh, my curry away. Stop, stop. Take a hold. Take a hold of this. Take a hold on. Take the bottom. Ah. Yeah, so that's how you stir the curry. To prevent it from burning. Burning at the at the bottom. How often must I stir? Stir as often as possible. <laughs> That's why no cameras allowed in the kitchen. Why is that? It's disturbing. Come do your work properly the Okay. Okay. Stir, stir. Oh. So now it's okay, tasting it's time. Yep. It's bubbling. It's like everywhere. Taste it for taste. How is it? More salt? Maybe more, I think. Somebody walking in his mind. Fast, mental. Wow! Who is cooking so nice? Now? You recognize the. I was bathing. Next up is the the herbs. You only put the herbs like the curry leaves or apalum, huh? curry palum, sorry, curry palum at the end of the process. process. Curry palum. Oh, the pandan that makes it sweet too. In the future, nobody cooks like this anymore. What? You just buy it from the store. Pre made. It's 
was happening in Britain? Or processed food? Take away. Ah, take, away. take away and also from Tesco, they have those uh, pre-packaged food ah. where you put inside the microwave and ting, mm. meals taste ready. Taste taste horrible. Huh? Taste horrible. Mm. Yeah, I saw a lot of ramen, ramen curry thing. Packages, they all just fly off the shelf. Because of the earthquake. Fly off the shelf because of the earthquake. People have no time to cook. Uh, when they come home from work, all they do is put in the microwave. That's it. Words of wisdom. Good, huh? True. Everything also from the can. Doesn't taste like santan. Doesn't taste as good as santan. Doesn't taste as good as santan, but healthier by far. Sure. <laughs> I think so. Okay. So, Finish. Yay. What? Finish. It's finished. Bubbly of deliciousness. Should I film this also? Film for what? Cooking. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is so simple. Garlic and soy sauce and mm. choy-sum. Oh, this is good. It's cooked in the sauce. Oh, well. Hopefully you enjoy the, the video. Stupid chicken. I have to clean up the garden again because of the, they keep on messing it up by scratching the ground and spreading the soil everywhere. Chickens are evil but delicious as well. What contradiction. Delicious and evil. <laughs>